This is Chris Hooper, peace activist, collector, restorer, and the owner of 20 East Street's Habitat. But to cause no confusion, you can just call him Pineapple. Chris has a long history in Rockhampton, from protesting the Indian coal mine giant Adani, running for Rockhampton Mayor, all the way to burning the French flag outside of a police station. Your brain's out of your computer. It's, it's what you stick in there that, that... And you put, you put a lot of bullshit in there and you don't get control of it. You know, there's a lot in there. So. This is Graham Dunstan, former qualified engineer turned hippie, is now the writer and the owner of PeaceBus.com, a blog that follows Graham and his van Happy Wheels in their day-to-day life. Through protesting for peace, justice and a sustainable earth, Graham is a wonderful artist who won't stop protesting until something gets done. From bringing politicians' heads to a light, to sliding under limousines to stop drivers from fleeing protesters. This is your mayor with the billionaire. At a funeral for the barrier week. These two mates, these two hippies, have a story that needs telling. It all starts with this photo. Two mates together holding their trophy. This isn't just a piece of cardboard with newspaper scattered over it. No, no. No, this sign marks triumph in the attempts of protest in both Australia and America. But we'll get to that later. Chris is known around Rockhampton, Yapoon, and nearly all of central Queensland as the eccentric pineapple. His shop, well known as Habitat, is a space that anyone is welcome to visit. He collects junk and transforms into something wonderful every time. Just look at him play the guitar. Didgeridoo. Believe that? (laughs) From a young age, Chris always wanted a life in the bush, and one day he took his first step by buying a block of land on Emu Park Road. It featured rock houses, activities, and funny banners. Locals and farm visitors would later call this the Funny Farm. Through the Wawoof program, backpackers and tourists gave their work for meals and accommodation. This led him on to meeting like-minded people, and eventually Pineapple moved to Rockhampton. He's also quite well known for running for Rockhampton Mayor in 2016. His campaign pushed to fill the 30% of youth unemployment in Rockhampton, and in doing this, crime among Rockhampton youth would gradually decrease. Unfortunately, he was ousted, and Margaret Strelow would take the position. Graham Dunstan, possibly the most well-known figure of activism in Australia. His first induction move was back in 1966, the coming of US President Lyndon B. Johnson to attend a meeting with the Liberal government to gain our commitment, then together to go to war against Vietnam. Anyway, I was a student at the time, engineering student, and um, I got outraged, so I called a meeting. And um, we had this meeting in the Roundhouse at the University of New South Wales. And we decided to do something. Stopped. We generally agreed that we'd see if we could stop the motorcade. I couldn't find any friends. I was standing in this huge crowd. You know, they reckon 100,000 people came, wriggled through the crowd. And when I burst through onto the street, the motorcade was only 50 metres away up the hill. So I ran towards it. <coughs> and uh, um, as I ran towards it, it slowed down and stopped. I got to uh, grab the bumpers and flung myself underneath it. Linda Ben Johnson realizes the media damage of this story. You know, welcome to Sydney is um, motorcade being stopped in the street, and he's holding his hands, cursing. So Askin turns to him and says, "Drive over the bastards." <laughs> Graham has been a special guest at Nimbin's annual Mardi Gras festival an event organised and held for users to exercise their right to smoke marijuana. And for a living, he travels from place to place protesting the wrongs in the world. One of those took place in Rockhampton this year, as Adani decided to sponsor the annual Rockhampton River Festival. But no obstacle is too difficult for these two hippies. And this was displayed by a silent protest at the festival, featuring our mayor, Margaret Strelo, accompanied by billionaire Gordon Adani, both attending a funeral for the Great Barrier Reef. Its purpose was to convince our mayor to withdraw from the $15.5 million pledge for the Adani airport, to which she walked past the protest with a wide grin. The protest was successful, but nothing compared to the achievement back in 2011. 
dramatic incident involving a military helicopter at Rockhampton Airport this morning. When news obtained these exclusive pictures as a protester made his way onto the tarmac before allegedly using a garden mattock to damage the aircraft.